in a move that could impact as many as 55 million women in America, the current administration is moving to reverse the Obamacare requirement that employers provide free birth control to employees. Conservatives claim it protects religious nonprofit groups from violating their faith. <laughs> But isn't that kind of imposing your beliefs <coughs> on your workers? It's also a bit of a conflict for them to say this because you want to remove funding from places like Planned Parenthood that allows for family planning and decisions. You now want to remove contraception. Mm -hmm. And yet you say that people that are poor, like Dr. Car ben Carson said, you know, people that live in projects and things are getting too comfortable and, you know, <laughs> they're sucking the system dry. Well, you're not giving them <laughs> options to make the right decision mm -hmm. if you're pulling all of, you're almost punishing us for having ovaries. Mm -hmm. Like, we, all, we also miss, that's a, that's a great point. We also, I think, miss a big point in the contraception debate. We call them birth control pills, contraceptive pills. A lot of women, and I was one of them, take these for medical reasons. I, was I wasn't having sex for a long time, unfortunately, but when I, took, <laughs> when I took these pills, I was taking them because I had irregular cycles, I was fainting, I had a medical condition where I had to be on them. So in some ways, these need to, need to be treated the same way that your medication for diabetes and your heart medication. You know, Viagra. What I, what it, I yes, love, that's right. Well, Viagra. Women Viagra. need these for medical what, reasons. What I really so. love about it is that Viagra is covered under, under all of these plans. Mm -hmm. Because? Because they consider uh, not getting, getting an erection mm -hmm. a disability. If a 90-year-old is not getting an erection, that's just nature taking its course. Yeah. The world does not stop because grandpa... Okay? But if a woman has 20 kids, mm -hmm. that stops her life. And so I think that this needs to be rethought. Well, one just, small note, just think? really quickly, is mm -hmm. the other thing is they everyone has an image of a teenage girl that needs to go secretly and be on birth control. Many of the people on birth control are women like me in their 30s that yeah. are trying to maintain a marriage no. and do that biblical thing yeah. and, and know what your limits well, are. Well, one thing that is always surprising to me was... Um, <laughs> Christians and evangelicals and people of faith is that they are supportive of, of this rolling back of, of, uh, of, of contraception for women, but what they don't understand is because of this Obama mandate, abortion was lowest for the first time since 1970. Yeah. We had the lowest abortion It says that, uh, and so, yeah, read it. Yeah, several um, studies show that free birth control lowers abortion rates by a range of 62 to 78 percent. 78 percent, and so if you are someone of faith that <coughs> it says you are pro-life, mm -hmm. then you should be supportive of people using birth control. Or how about this? Stay out. Stay out. How about how about this? Do what you need to do for your family. Right. Let me do what I need to do for mine, and we'll all be fine. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Well, yeah, they don't you know? mind their own. Conservatives who care about conservatives that are true conservatives that yeah. care about personal responsibility are a you know <coughs> mind your business type of people like. I live my life, live and let live. That is it's true religion, conservatism. It's religion. Also, yeah, but you Limited can't hide government. behind religion they to do. restrict other people's rights. Well, that is do. not. Well, okay. that's what that's done all the time. We, we saw it. Know. We saw it when people said, "Oh, we can't have gay people adopting." So that's we're going right. to stop. Well, that's it. wrong too. You know what? It's wrong. Y'all just need look. I don't know. <laughs> how is it different from the Taliban? I I, don't I, know. I just feel that you have to, you at some point you have to take responsibility for your life. And a lot of people are saying, this is what I need, and you're saying it doesn't matter what you need, I want you to believe how I believe. And I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. With all these rollbacks and all the things that we hear, what's the difference between us and the people we're fighting? Nothing. What's the difference? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's to keep women down also. Let's I, not forget that one of the reasons they do this is to keep women, keep women in their place. Women, barefoot and but pregnant. But there are women, too, that are saying, oh, women shouldn't have access to this. And I'm just asking well, women. Well, they're not saying that. They're saying they don't want the government. They don't we, want to pay for it. But if it's it, medical. Right?